Hi, this is Tammy with my top 10 reasons why I would be best suited for to be an early childhood educator. Reason number 10, I can multitask. I can read a story to one child while getting a tissue for another and thinking about what time Zoe needs to go to the bathroom because she is in potty training and when Frank needs to get ready because he is being picked up early by his mother for a doctor appointment. I can engage one child in an activity while writing anecdotal assessment notes and turning to address two other children in conflict over a toy with questions like, what do you think a solution might be? While I'm listening to the classroom buzz to see if it indicates that children are engaged with their ideas and positive social interactions. Reason number nine. I am not OCD. I can handle muddy hands if they're outside and painted fingers and glue on the table and material scattered about because a child is pursuing a great idea. I can handle a child's organization schemes when they do not match my own, and I can handle brown finger paintings because a child mixes all the colors together every time, and I can handle food on the floor because a toddler is learning to use a spoon and handle free-spirited behavior when all the children gather together at the door to go outside or come in. I am not OCD. I am purposefully tolerant. Reason number eight. I've got great navigational qualities. I can see where a situation may be headed and think quick to either add to or take away an element to make the moment more successful for the children to navigate. I know that understanding child development and implementing a program which supports development are essential in navigating a child through their developmental levels. I can steer a child out of harm's way and guide them to more ways to consider how to build a tower. I can navigate through the myriad of regulations of licensing and professional standards that I have committed to. I can navigate through awkward conversations with parents and with children. Reason number seven. I can see into the future. I know that putting only 10 blocks in the block center will create conflict, that challenging behaviors are often instigated by really bad classroom rules and a curriculum not conducive to play and freedom to explore. I know that if I apply DAP and proven theories into my work with children, that they will grow cognitively and developmentally in positive and successful ways so that they will become competent learners and able to manage themselves well into their futures. Reason number six. I am a natural advocate for the underdog. In today's educational climate, children are the underdog, or often the underdogs. I want to rescue them from inappropriate practices that undermine their natural abilities or push them way too soon into academic methods of instruction. I want to stand up for a child's right to play and their right to not yet know something and their right to still need time to get acquainted with their emotions and social interplay. I want to empower children. I want to give them freedom of choice. I want to be that person who, support, who supports who they are and, who, and the person who helps them reach their potential. Reason number five, because I am brave. I am not afraid of the tantrum of a two-year-old or the egocentric behavior of a three-year-old or the throw-up of an infant or the leaks from a toddler being potty trained. I am not afraid of worms or beetles or lizards and welcome any opportunity to spend time with these for the sake of a child's wonder. I am not afraid to embrace a child in the midst of a toxic meltdown because they can't keep their, t because they're tower keeps falling down, or jump into the fray when the battle breaks out over the right on fire truck. I see these everyday battles as opportunities for every child to learn, to grow, and to understand who they are in the world we live in. Reason number four. I am Bendy. I can crawl on the floor to play with a group of infants, bend over to pick up a child in need, circumvent the obstacle course of scattered objects left over from meaningful ideas children explore and get my knees to bend to my chin when sitting at the child-sized table in the dramatic play area. Being bendy also means being flexible, allowing the ideas of children to change the planned activity, allowing a child's emotional moment to grab my attention and give it to them instead, or letting the children continue their projects when they are not interested in listening to a story at story time. Reason number three, I am a visionary. I can explore the big picture and the little details of the big picture. I know that before a child can regulate, 
I know that before a child can self-regulate, they need to learn how to simply stop their body. I know that my environment, activities, materials, scaffolding, and interactions with the children are like little brush strokes of color that contribute to the big picture of who they are and what they can become. My vision for their future must be true to DAP, child development theory, and understanding, and must build on the unique qualities, abilities, and potential of each child. Reason number two, because I am a magician. I can make a child's um, tears disappear. I can turn baking soda and vinegar into an exploding volcano. I can make an infant appear from beneath a blanket playing peekaboo or help a toddler acquire language. I can create relevant activities for the child by observing what they're interested in. Create curiosity in a child's mind with open-ended materials and what if questions and magically keep a child from fighting over a toy by simply asking him, what do you want to do while you are waiting your turn? And reason, and the number one reason why I will be good as an early childhood educator is because I am passionate about early childhood. I don't love kids. I am passionate about them. I don't have mushy moments or gush over everything they do as in, oh, you're so cute, or what a pretty girl or handsome boy you are. But I am fiercely passionate that they are given respect, that they are given respect, that they are allowed freedom of choice in their young world that they are protected even if that means stepping up to protect them from the confines of irrelevant circle time or academic activities too early for it to be relevant to their current level of development. I am passionate about rescuing children from controlling curriculum and letting them have large blocks of time to pursue materials and the environment by what interests them. I am passionate that they have over one continuous hour of outdoor free play. I am passionate that they are allowed to be heard and that their conversations are celebrated rather than corrected. I am passionate in educating myself of best practices and research findings that provide me insight and guidance into early childhood development and putting them into practice. I am passionate about adapting my program and my curriculum and my schedule and my materials and my environment and my interaction with young children so that every year I become a new educator with a new program because of greater understanding and awareness. I am passionate about educating parents and anyone who follows me on my program's Facebook page about how children learn and develop and how parents and caregivers can provide supportive childhoods for their children. Thank you.